Sometimes when you're multiplying out polynomials, you don't necessarily need every coefficient. There might just be one or two coefficients that are actually important to you. And the binomial th coefficients can also be helpful for finding that. Like, what if we want to find the coefficient of y to the eighth in the expansion of 2y plus 3 to the tenth? We could do all of the powers. We could. But to get y to the eighth, how do you form a y to the eighth? To form a y to the eighth, you're going to take 2y to the eighth power. Then you're going to have to take 3 to the, two, the second power there because the combined total... 8 and 2 is going to have to add up to be 10. So in that binomial expansion, you're going to take 8 y's and then three, uh, two 3's. And of course, you have to grab 2 8 times as well. But you're also going to have the binomial coefficient of uh, 10 choose 8, which you could also do choose 2. It's the same thing. It really doesn't matter. So we want to simplify this thing. 10 choose 8 means 10 factorial, um, 10 factorial over 2 factorial and 8 factorial. You're going to get 2 to the 8th times y to the 8th. And you're also going to get 3 squared. And so let's simplify these things. 8 factorial is going to go into 10 factorial, leaving a 10 times 9 on top. 2 factorial is just 2 itself. Um, 3 squared is a 9. Uh, 2 to the 8th, what is that going to be? So we think of powers of 2. So you're going to get 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Uh, that's the fifth power. 64 is the sixth power, then 128, 256. I mean, you also can use a calculator here. You're gonna get 256 times y to the eighth right here. Let's simplify this where we can. Um, let's see, two does go into 256 right here, leaving 128 behind. Um, if I take 10 times 128, that's pretty nice. You're gonna get uh, 1,280 times 81. 90, 9 to the 8th right there. And then I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to be able to do this one in my head. Um, 80, uh, two-digit multiplication, no way, Jose. Uh, multiply those together, you're going to get 103,680 times y to, the, y to the 8th. That's what the, the y to the 8th term is going to look like in that expansion. Therefore, the coefficient is 1, 103,680. We don't need all of the expansion if we just want to find the coefficient of y to the 8th right here. Let's look at another example of this. Let's find the sixth term, the sixth term of x plus two to the ninth when written in descending order. What do we mean by the sixth term, right? Uh, so the sixth term would be like, well, the first term is gonna have a, you're gonna have an x to the ninth, then there's gonna be some x to the eighth, x to the seventh, x to the sixth, x to the fifth, x to the fourth, right? And there's gonna be some coefficients here. We just don't know what they are. I mean, we can compute them. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're trying, we're trying to figure out what's the coefficient. What's the coefficient of x to the fourth? You know, that, that's really what they're asking uh, in this example right here. So it's similar to what we did previously. So how does one get an x to the fourth? Well, you're going to grab x. You're going to grab x four times, which means you're going to grab two five times. Four plus five is equal to nine. And then you're going to take nine, choose four, or you could do nine, choose five. You know, am I, am I grabbing four, or am I grabbing x four times, or am I grabbing two five times? It really doesn't matter. It's the same number. And so you're going to get nine factorial over four factorial and five factorial. You're going to get x to the, x to the fourth, and you also get this 32, um, two to the fifth right there. And so five factorial is going to go into nine factorial, leaving a nine times eight times seven times six, four of the terms. Over four factorial, you get four times three times two. Um, three and two comes together as a six, so that will cancel out. Four goes into eight two times. Uh, that leaves also, there's still the 32 x to the fourth right there. And so there we have, we have nine times two times seven times 32 times x to the fourth. And so when we multiply all those together, uh, let's see, two times 32 is a 64. Nine times seven is 63. And then 64 times 63 that's equal to 4,032 x to the fourth. So the coefficient of the sixth term will be 4,032. So if we need to know just one of the coefficients, we can figure that out without having to multiply everything out. And there, that gives us uh, a, nice, a nice little application of the binomial theorem.